How are we doing today guys? Alex Tracing here with Sport Performance U. Uh, today we're going to talk about the unilateral knee dominant movements. We do talk a lot about how we want to do single leg movements as opposed to double leg. So we're going to talk about the progression we use to get up to our major rear foot elevated split squat exercise. The very first exercise we do for most athletes coming in in order to make sure that they can do single leg knee dominant movements is a simple split squat. All we're going to do is just drop one foot back behind the other by about 18 inches, nice and tall. Drop that back knee straight to the ground, stand it straight back up. As you're doing this and they get better at it, we'll start loading them first goblet style with the dumbbell, then suitcase style with the dumbbell, straight down, straight up. Once an athlete's become proficient at doing the split squat, we'll put a slightly more dynamic type movement in there and just do a lunge. Okay, in most cases we do a reverse lunge, nice and tall. They'll take the step back, stand it back up. Again, same process, as they get better at it, we'll go to uh, goblet and then suitcase. And if we really want to start loading up the can, they'll just want to put the barbell as well in the front. Nice and tall, good posture, heel drives through the ground. Once you do that particularly well, and if they have good hip mechanics and enough range of motion to be able to move on to the rear foot elevated, that's what we'll do. We'll have them put their back foot on the bench, laces down, nice and tall, and again, start goblet, then suitcase, then the barbell on a front loaded position, drop that back knee to the ground, nice and tall. That's how we get everyone doing their unilateral knee dominant movements. Thanks for checking in with SBU. Be sure to check out our website at sportperformanceu.com.